Hi everyone, it's Sam and today I have another review for you all. It is going to be over at the Glossier bomb.coms and I had done another video previously but these are the new and improved bomb.com versions they've changed up the formula a bit I believe and their packaging so I'm really excited to be reviewing it for you all I just went to the Glossier in Soho I'm always down for a good lip balm so let us give it a try first off I'm going to be trying Glossier Lavender Balm.com it is a light purple shade the packaging is very nice. It has a very aesthetically pleasing look to it. It is lavender flowers with a purple lip. This is the back information. Over here is lavender. It's just really nice simple cardboard packaging. It says swipe onto your lips for a loving layer of nourishing moisture. Let us give it a try. The packaging inside is purple lavender color. And this is what it looks like. The packaging is shaped exactly like a lip gloss. I really like it because of the new applicator. It has a light purple G, lavender color, nice orangey mango color as the cap and writing here. It says the same thing as the packaging. It's a 15 milliliters, says the instructions to swipe onto the lips and where it's made from, which is in New York. When you open it, it is a nice applicator. I'm going to give it a little swatch for you all. Here is me squeezing it. And here we try this color. This is lavender. It's just a really nice purpley tint. And here I'll spread it onto my fingers. It has the same Vaseline thick consistency as last time I can tell. Not too bad, it's a very natural purpley shade. It smells like lavender, a little bit waxy of a lavender. Let's try it onto my lips. It has a really thick consistency which will keep my lips moisturized for the winter which I really really like. I absolutely love the packaging on this now because it's a lot easier before you had to put it on your finger and spread it. But now you can just put it directly onto your lips. It does taste a little bit waxy and crayony, but the scent is pretty good. It's not too overbearing and it's really, really moisturizing. It's great for everyday use. So I highly recommend this if you like lavender. They have different shades still. They have birthday, rose, coconut, mango, all these shades, but I know my mom loves lavender so I had to pick this up. The next shade we are going to be trying out is the color mint. Mint.com it is an ice blue packaging. This is one of my favorite. It is an icy blue with an ice cube lip. Glossier is indented and it's a very pretty icy Antarctic mountainy ice picture. When you open it it looks like this. It's in the color mint. And this is definitely, I think, one of my mom's favorite. I tried it in the store. It tasted really minty. It was really refreshing. It's definitely a lip color that can wake you up when you're tired. Even sniff it. It's really, really nice. And this is the same thing. It has a green, almost Tiffany blue, mint green color. The blue, ice blue, glossier. Mintbomb.com says the same thing. 15 milliliters in the back. Same thing, instructions, and a blue cap. And what I love about these caps is when you close these, it has a little click sound that you know is sealed so it's not gonna pop open in your purse and leak everywhere, like so. And then here you go. See, no color, just thick Vaseline consistency. But when you smell it, it has a very strong scent, which I love, a very nice minty toothpaste tent is very wakening and refreshing and I'm gonna put it on my lips so you guys can see what it looks like and the consistency. Now I have nothing on my lips. We're going to try this out and let's see how it goes. I have to say this is definitely one of my favorite. Even though there's no color, it makes my lips feel all minty like I just chewed gum or brushed my teeth. I really like this. It is really refreshing. I love this lip balm. It's stronger than most drugstore brand 
bombs of minty flavors. This is definitely one of the strongest. It definitely stings and wakes you up. And it's really, really moisturizing. When I tried it on the store, it stayed on a pretty good time. You don't have to keep reapplying it. I think this would be good whenever your lips feel dry. I get really chapped lips. This definitely helps my lips a lot. And it's not too thick where it gets sticky. It have, if you just put the right amount, it's going to look great on you. Also moisturize your lips and get the job done. So I highly recommend this. If you guys stop by Glossier, definitely pick these two up when you have a chance. And that is it for my pretty short review. I will see you guys very soon. Bye. Love you guys. Peace. Peace.